then we can see the invisible. So Christ showed three of them, only three, Peter, James, and John. The top three, the inner circle three, okay? For whatever reasons he chose those three, I don't know, nor is it relevant. But remember, they were going to carry the load of the responsibility initially, Peter being the chief apostle. And James, of course, he would be martyr later on. But John, who would write the book of Revelation. So they would shoulder a very big spiritual responsibility in teaching and preaching. So what did Christ do? Let's go to Matthew chapter 16. I want you, I want, I got to wrap up here quickly, but I want you to see this as a, uh, nobody has um, asked for prayer yet. Nobody has asked any question. I guess you're just being encouraged by God's word. If that is what is happening to God, be the glory. All right. So where was I going? Matthew chapter 16, Matthew chapter 16, remarkable event. Now, let me flesh this out. Let me unpack this for you to you so we can see how important this is in the context of seeing the invisible or knowing the future by faith. So in chapter 16, after a long discourse, we find Christ saying something kind of strange. The very last verse of chapter 16, after he talk, so in chapter 16, Christ talks about, he predicts his death, his resurrection. He, pred he predicts all of these things. I don't think they even heard what he said because Peter actually rebuked him and said, far be it from you, Lord, for this to happen to you. And Christ had to rebuke him and said, hey, 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 you're speaking the things of Satan. 